As promised, I'm going to show you how to make extra money as a woodworker. This will be part one of a multi-part series. This is what we're going to start with. Look at how pretty you are. You're so cute. Nobody wants mirrors. This mirror was free on Facebook Marketplace. I went and picked it up. I want to show you what you could do with it. And this is just to get a starting phone. I want to give you an idea of stuff you could do. Just be creative with what you can get your hands on, especially to get that starting budget. All right, so what you're going to do, if you come across this, this is just one way to start. You don't have to do this. We're going to take this back off, but we're going to keep it all intact. So now that we have the back out, we have to take this mirror out. Now you want to be very careful because you don't want it to break. So to do this for free, find you something for free and use what you have in your shop. What I'm going to do with this is chalkboard paint. I've had this chalkboard. I think it's hard enough. I thought it was hard enough, but it's not. So the reason we kept this intact, I'm going to paint this with chalkboard paint that I've had on hand for going on a year now. I haven't used this whole thing that we sold chalkboards in the past. So while we're waiting on that to dry, we're going to start working on the frame. Now we're going to be painting this, so I don't need to take all the stain off. I don't even need to take all the gloss off. All we're going to do is hit it with some 120 sandpaper. We're going to clean out all this gunk on the back side just because I don't want to sell junk. But we're going to etch it so that the paint has something to adhere to. We're going to hit it with the 120. We're going to put flat black paint. And here's a trick you may not know to get into these contours and these curves and these edges. Take you a shop to shop rag. Wrap your sandpaper around it. Now you can hold on to it, it's comfortable. But you can get all into the dips and curves. Shows you how much I do this, a lot. I just keep black spray paint and white paint on hand. So while that is drying, you can get a sneak peek at what else is going on at our shop. Remember I told you? Remember I told you? Get a laser engraver? Look. Well, can you see me better now? We got a restaurant that wanted 40 charcuterie boards. And the reason we got that work is because we have a laser engraver. Now look, this is making me money while I don't have to be here. Watch, you ready? You ready? Bow. Wait. Bow. Best employee. Best employee I got. Here, let me blind you a little bit. Oop. Don't want to leave it. So, while that's drying, we're going to put a second coat. And just for your reference, if I wasn't filming all this, we'd be about 10 minutes into the job. Did 
this is not something you have to follow step by step. This is just to show you if you use a little bit of creativity, you could pick up something for free that somebody just is going to throw away and turn it into something that costs 75 to 150 bucks. And that's going to give you a solid starting fund to buy something else to flip it as well with these same techniques that I'm showing you right now. <clears throat> and I, I really have, I think I want to call it a night tonight. It's pretty late. Um, I will see you in the morning or in a couple of seconds. So we painted the frame black, then I came on top of it with a coat of white after it dried. And now the white has set up long enough. What you're going to do, get some 150 sandpaper, the same trick we did earlier. And you're going to sand again, but you're going to try to bring some of the area down to the black coat underneath it. Where it's really going to pop is areas like this. You just want to barely hit it. We're ready to put the backer back on and I'm going to show you the chalkboard. So this just goes to show you what you can do with a little bit of creativity and a little bit of extra supplies you have in your shop. This is going to give us our starting fund to buy an actual piece of furniture that we're going to repair and flip. I'm going to list this for $100, maybe $150, but I'll come down to about $75. That'll be my minimum. What I'm going to do now is stage it so I can show you how you need to stage it on Facebook Marketplace to get the most money for this type of work. And so here is how you stage it and how you list it. Maybe a little bit here. You don't want to take a picture of it in your workshop. You want to stage it. You want to list it. You want to have a price in mind of what you want to get for it. Like I said, the minimum I'll, I'll take for this is 75 bucks. It's not bad considering I have no money tied up into it and maybe 30 minutes worth of work. And it's just really to get the starting fund to really get into the furniture that makes money. So I hope this video helped. Go search Facebook Marketplace and try to find you something for free or very cheap that's in the furniture section that you can get and you could start working on it to get your startup fund going. And so the goal of this is to show you that you can go from zero dollars to however much money you want. In our case it's going to be fifteen hundred dollars to buy the domino joiner that I promised to buy when I hit a thousand subscribers and I'm going to give it to the person that won it. Congratulations again, Mr. Burgestet. So if this content was helpful, like, subscribe, and comment. Leave a comment in the section. It helps the algorithm. It helps the channel to grow. This video 